Hi, my name is Darlene Heath, and we're going to talk about point-slope formula. As you see, I've put on the board the point-slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M, being the slope, times X minus X1. Example 1, we have a slope of 2 passing through the points 3 and 5. Slope being 2. Passing through the points 3 and 5 x and y the next step we're going to distribute our two and solve for y In example two, we have a slope that equals negative three over two, and it passes through the points four and negative three. So let's plug our slope into the equation, negative three over two, and then plug in our point, our y is negative three, and our x is four, and then solve. We're going to say y plus three is equal to negative 3 over 2 x because we're going to distribute. Now I'm going to take negative 3 over 2 times 4 over 1 which is negative. Two negatives become a positive. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. Reduce that it becomes a positive 6. So now we have plus 6. Solve for y. Subtract 3 from both sides. We have y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 3. m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So let's plug in our x's and our y's. So our y2 is going to be negative 1 minus our y1, which is negative 4, over our x2, which is 1, minus our x1, which is negative 2. Now, these two negatives here and here become positive. So now we have negative 1 plus 4 over 1 plus 2 which then equals 3 over 3, which reduces to 1, so our slope is equal to 1. Now step 2, now that we have found our slope, we're going to plug it into our equation of y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now our m we said was 1, now we need to plug in x minus, and our x1 you can either use negative 2, negative 4, or 1 and negative 1. I like 1 and negative 1, so we're going to go with that one. So we're going to plug in 1 here is equal to y minus negative 1. Now remember what I said earlier, that two negatives become a positive. So now we have y plus 1 is equal to 1, x minus 1. We need to distribute our 1 into the parentheses. So now we have equals 1x minus 1, y plus 1. Moving over here, we're going to have y plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. We're going to subtract 1 from both sides, so now you have y is equal to x minus 2.